India is stepping into a new era. The era of next-generation missile warfare. It all started with BrahMos, the missile no defense system could touch. But India didn't stop there. Deep inside DRDO's high-security labs, a new creation is taking shape. They call it Dwani. Faster, deadlier, smarter, a missile designed not just to challenge China's DF-26, but to surpass it. But before we get to Dwani, let's talk about BrahMos, the missile that changed everything. It's the world's fastest operational supersonic cruise missile, flying at nearly Mach 3, with pinpoint accuracy, whether the target is on land or at sea, making it one of the most versatile strike weapons ever built. Now, sure, it was Russia's Onyx that served as the base design. But India took that foundation, upgraded the guidance, boosted the range, and sharpened the precision, creating something far superior in real combat use. Meanwhile, the United States is still relying on subsonic cruise missiles, like the Tomahawk and JASSM, and focusing its efforts on future hypersonic systems. But as of now, it doesn't have a single operational supersonic cruise missile in service. China has tested a few, the YJ-12, for example, which can hit over Mach 2, but their reliability, scale of deployment, and combat integration remain uncertain. None of them match BrahMos's multi-platform reach or its combat-proven record. Russia helped design it, India perfected it, and today, no other country fields a supersonic missile this fast, this accurate, and this battle-ready. Now let's see how does Dwani, India's hypersonic leap, stack up against India's own legend, BrahMos the tested beast, and China's overhyped poster missile, DF-26. Let's break it down. Dwani, a hypersonic glide vehicle flying at Mach 5 to 6, with a range of 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers, is now in development and could be a true game changer. BrahMos is a supersonic cruise missile with a speed of Mach 2.8 to 3 and a range of 290 to 800 kilometers, and it is combat proven. Unlike ballistic or glide missiles that lose thrust after launch, BrahMos stays powered by its ramjet engine till impact. It flies low and fast, while following a programmed path that becomes predictable once detected, but its Mach 3 speed and sea skimming flight make interception nearly impossible, even for advanced air defenses. The F 26's IRBM speed, Mach 10 to 12, re entry only, 3,000 to 5,000 km range, with questionable claims questionable accuracy against moving targets, and limited transparency. And Dwani isn't just another missile, it's a completely new class of weapon. Unlike traditional ballistic or cruise missiles that follow predictable paths, Dwani uses hypersonic glide technology. After launch, a rocket booster propels Dwani to the edge of space. There, the glide vehicle detaches, and this is where the real magic begins. Instead of falling back in a fixed arc like a ballistic missile, De Havani skims through the upper atmosphere at Mach 5 to Mach 6, that's six to seven times faster than a rifle bullet. While moving at hypersonic speeds, Dwani doesn't fly in a straight line. It can zigzag, dive, or rise mid-flight, constantly shifting direction to confuse radars and interceptor missiles. This unpredictable motion makes it extremely difficult, for any defense system to track or lock onto. In contrast, China's DF-26 may reach higher peak speeds, Mach 10 to 12, but only during re-entry when it plunges in a predictable arc like a traditional ballistic missile. BrahMos, though a proven and powerful supersonic cruise missile, remains fully powered throughout flight, following a smoother, low-altitude path that can be traced once detected by advanced radar systems. Dwani combines the best of both worlds, the speed of a ballistic missile and the control of a cruise missile, while avoiding their weaknesses. After separation, it glides silently without propulsion, conserving energy, and hiding its trajectory until impact. By the time enemy radars realize what's coming, it's already too late. So Dwani isn't just a missile, it's the next evolution in strike capability, built for a world, where interception is no longer an option, and speed, stealth, and unpredictability rule the skies.